From the village of Peshawar, the tiger has struck again. Ah. The tenth victim in less than a month. It is said the people of Peshawar have offended the goddess Kali, who has sent the devil tiger to punish them. I do not believe in devil tigers, Ram Singh. Or the goddess Kali? Kali has many forms. In her worst aspect, she is a false goddess worshipped by thieves and renegades. To the claws of the devil tiger are not false, as the people of Peshawar have learned to their sorrow. I will grant only that the tiger is real and must be destroyed. Of course. But I must remind your highness that many expeditions have been sent to hunt down the devil tiger. And who is that, your highness? An old friend residing in the jungles of far off Africa. A man known as Jungle Jim. I'm receiving you. Over. I have a relayed message for Jungle Jim. Over. Jungle Jim speaking. Repeat the message. Over. Message followed. Jungle Jim, Kenya Colony, British East Africa. Please come to India at once. Urgently need your help. Sign the Maharaja of Bogaha. End of message. Over. Thanks, VBQ37. Over and clear. Gee, Dad, India, when do we leave? Who said you were going? You can't leave us behind, not when you're going to India. That's where Kasim was born. Bogahar being my birthplace, Saba, would indeed be a disappointment. Okay, Kasim, we'll all go. We'll take off just as soon as we're packed. Kasim, what's India like? That is a question you cannot answer in one lifetime, little Sab. Modern India is a land of many wonders. Stretching from the world's highest mountains to the shores of the Indian Ocean, is a land which contains one-fifth of all of the human race, a land of wealth and poverty, of many gods, of the sacred Ganges, and of such works of art as the Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world. Deep in the interior of this wondrous land lies our destination, the palace of the Maharaja of Bogahar. It is good of you, Jungle Jim, to have traveled so far in answer to my plea for help. And it warms my heart to speak with you, Kasim. Your father was my friend. It is good to visit my native land again, Your Highness. We're all glad to be here, Your Highness. That goes double for me. I know you must be curious as to why I summoned you. The problem is grave, but simply stated. A tiger is ravaging the district of Peshawar. Peshawar? But I was born and raised in that district. Tigers were unknown in my day. Perhaps, but there is one there now. A fierce and wanton killer. Had your highness sent a she-car? I have sent many. All have failed. What's a she-car? A hunting expedition. It's funny your hunting parties can't track down one tiger. Whenever the she-cars appear in the area, the tiger disappears. And when the she-cars have left, the tiger reappears. This is most extraordinary. Tigers are not gifted with human intelligence. The people of Peshawar have come to believe that this tiger represents an evil form of the goddess Kali. Gee, Dad, if we could find that tiger and catch him alive. That is my fondest hope. For in that way, the people of Peshawar 
would be forced to recognize that the tiger is real and not an evil spirit. Will you undertake this mission for me, Jungle Jim? How far is Peshawar? Thank you, my friend. Peshawar is two days' journey to the north, through jungle. We we'll leave as soon as we pick up some supplies. Bear cubs. India sure has a lot of animals you don't find back in Africa. Including disappearing tigers. I've been wondering about it. Sure it is how they call the devil tiger. You and Skipper go back to sleep. I'll stand guard the rest of the night. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. that the villagers are hiding in their homes frightened of the tiger. Let's see if we can find a head man. Wait, please. We would speak with you. Yes. Leela. You're Leela Nubai. Do you not remember me? Kasim. Kasim, of course. This is my friend Jungle Jim and his son Skipper. It is an honor, Saab. I have heard of Jungle Jim. The Maharaja has sent us to help you and the people of Peshawar. You have come to hunt the tiger? Yes. No, you must not do that. You must not try. Why? What are you afraid of? And perhaps you can tell us where we can find a head man of this village. There is no head man. No head man? How can this be? Ask Vasu Manohar. Welcome, stranger. Welcome to the miserably accursed village of Peshawar. Are you the one called Vasu Manohar? At your service, sir. Can you tell us why this village has no headman? Because no one wishes to offend his evil highness Shere Khan and meet the same fate as the last headman. Leela's father? No wonder she didn't want to talk about it. She was wise. Tis not safe to speak of the devil tiger, lest he hear and be angered. Enough of this nonsense about devil tigers. Will you lead us to a spot where we can pick up this trail? Not I, Sars. I will not risk the wrath of the goddess Kali. Nor will anyone else in Peshawar. Then we'll find it ourselves. Do not interfere in matters that do not concern you. We came here to trap a tiger, and that's exactly what we're going to do. You will bring a terrible vengeance upon yourselves, as well as upon the people of Peshawar. Gee, Dad, I don't think he really means business. I'm sure he does. We still going to try and trap that tiger? Not only a tiger. I have an entree after bigger game. Tiger pup. 
Yes, Sergeant Jim. And these pug marks are freshly made. Boy, look at the size of them. At least that proves there really is a devil tiger. There was never much doubt of that little sob. We'll camp here tonight and figure out our next move. <laughs> Start digging a pit for that tiger. I'll try and scare up some bait for our trap. Fun. Enlightened. Great leader. Speak up. What news do you bring? The strangers of whom you warned us have dared to ignore my words. Right now they are on the trail of Shere Khan. It is as I feared. It is the one called Jungle Jim, a formidable hunter, a dangerous antagonist. Where is he? Encamped in a clearing, some distance from here. He shall not be permitted to escape the wrath. The goddess Kali! Go, Shere Khan. Seek out those who would destroy you and let them feel your claws. You're not thinking of using her for bait, are you, Dad? I'm afraid we'll have to. Do not be concerned, little sob. No harm will come to her. Why, are you sure? I'm positive. Get me a length of cord out of my bag and I'll show you. You taught him well, Sob Jim. If only all would feel toward animals as he does, there'd be an end to wanton slaughter. Trouble is, most people don't think. Here you are, Dad. Thanks, Skipper. Hold on to her for me. We'll try a slip knot on him. When that tiger gets the scent of this bait and makes his charge, Jerk this cord, loosen this knot, and this goat will be gone long before that tiger ever comes near this trap. Please, I beg you, go away before it's too late. There has been enough bloodshed. We're planning to stop the bloodshed. I know you mean well, Sob Jim, but you do not understand. It is not alone the tiger that we fear. Go ahead. Men like Vasu Manohar, members of the secret cult who are devotees of Kali. These men have been extracting tribute from the people of Peshawar, using the threat of Shere Khan, Kali's messenger of death. He is trained to obey them, to roam loose at Terraho with his roaring, and to reach... Quick, take cover. Keep quiet. Believe me. I'll bring him back and show them. I'll go with you. Is it okay, Dad? Sure, son. Kasim and I will build a cage to hold that devil tiger while you're gone. It may be difficult to convince them, Leela. But try to bring them back here so they may see for themselves. I will try, stop. <laughs> Sir Khan does not like his quarters. I'll start cutting some bamboo for his new ones. Good. Get up high and keep a sharp lookout. 
it's just possible that the people that trained this tiger might come back looking for it, and us. People of Peshawar, listen to me. My father was your leader, headman of this village for many years. We have long been oppressed and have paid tribute to men like Vasil Manohar. But our day of freedom is at hand. Hasim and Jungle Jim have trapped the tiger. Come with me and you will see that he is not an evil spirit. If he were, he would change his form and escape. Free yourself forever from this tyranny. It's no use, Leela. We'll just have to bring the tiger to them. Come on. should be returning with the villagers any minute. Sambo, I thought I told you to stay up high and keep an eye on him. one and you join your miserable ancestors. Daddy, all right? Sure, son. Thanks to your quick thinking. And thanks to you both and to Kasim, the tiger will kill no more. Peshawar is forever free. I am 
deeply in your debt, my friend. Had these evil men succeeded, they would have spread their rule of terror throughout Bogaha. But now, thanks to your efforts, Ram Singh and his villains will trouble my people no more. We are honored to have been of service, Your Highness. I'm sorry I killed that tiger. A pity. But the deed was forced upon you. Again, many thanks. And you, Kasim, will you be returning to Africa also? Well, I understand. It has been written, true friendship is a gift of the gods and the greatest boon to me. <laughs> I'm a player to two. Tomorrow on Jungle Jim, two gangsters persuade Jim to guide them to a crashed airplane containing a priceless golden scarab. Stay tuned now as Dennis and Uncle Ned play matchmaker on Dennis the Menace, coming up next on TV 27.